So today we're going to talk about the God of the Bible and the God of the Quran. Now, being the Mahdi is amazing because I learn stuff more and more every day that I never knew. Now, the God of the Bible and the God of the Quran are two different gods. Now, most of the Christians would shout on that. They'd be like, yeah, duh. Israelites, they would love that. They would applaud that because they all agree that the God of the Bible and the God of the Quran are two different deities. Now, for us Muslims, we love to associate the God of the Quran with the God of the Bible, and they're two different gods. Now, Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is Lord of the worlds. He's Lord of the worlds. And the God of the Bible, guess what, y'all? Is a man. He's a man. He tells you right there in the book of Exodus, in the Song of Moses, Exodus chapter 15, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. The God of the Bible is a man. This is a shocker. This is a huge shocker. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Lord of the worlds. But the God of the Bible is only the God of the earth. The God of the Bible has a God and his God is Allah. And his religion is Islam. Now, the God of the Bible is a man. Let that sink in. I'm going to say it again. The God of the Bible is a man. He is called the Father. And he has many different names. But when it all comes down to it, the God of the Bible is a man. Simply because he had to become a human being to save his planet. He stripped himself of his deity and took upon man's flesh. This man will have to die to save his planet. Now what's going on is in the religion of Islam, we have the belief that the prophet Isa was questioned by Allah. Now, this is what you fail to realize, that in the ultimate heavens of heavens, there's only one God and there's only one messenger. And so when you hear the Quran, the voice of the Quran is al -Mahdi. The man who has been put in charge of the earth or the God of the Bible is the voice of the Quran. And so in the Quran, you hear the words we and us. You hear those same sayings in the Bible. We made man in our image, in our likeness. You hear the term us. Why is that? Because in the Quran, you have one God who is Allah. Then you have al Mahdi as the messenger. And he is speaking through the prophet Muhammad. Every prophet that ever prophesied 
It was Al Matty speaking through that prophet. So when the prophet Isa was questioned by Allah, it was Al Matty asking the prophet Isa, did you ever say to the people, worship you and your mother as God? Okay, that wasn't Allah talking. Allah has a spokesman. Allah has an ultimate prophet. And that was al Mahdi, the father, asking Jesus, did you tell people to worship you? And Jesus simply denied those charges. He goes on to say, I've only said what you ordered me to say. Worship Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. Then at the end of the conversation, look what happens, y'all. Al Mahdi tells the prophet Isa, I will judge between what me and you differed about. Now, when those words are said, you have to look. There's other references in the Quran where those same words are being used. And that ultimately means there was a disagreement. Somebody was wrong about something. Okay. And it's recorded right there in the Quran. Okay. In the book of Amram, the whole conversation is recorded. So something happened with the prophet Isa. And if you go to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, think about them three. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Abram was cool. Abraham, rather. Jacob was cool. But Isaac, he was blind. His eyes grew dim. And Isaac was deceived. And Isaac is a type and shadow of the prophet Isa. See, Isaac, Isa. And so the tribes of Israel was never started by Isaac. They were started by Jacob. And so the man who has been picked to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel from his loins is who? It is Jacob. And it is metaphorically al Mahdi. There's some things that happened with the prophet Isa. Something has happened that has to go into judgment. Because it says, I will judge between what me and you differed about. And that is al Mahdi, the voice of the Quran, and the prophet Isa. There was a disagreement. And we see that in the type and shadow of the prophet Isa, and that is Isaac. Isaac was deceived by his son because he was blinded. Okay? And if you go to the other type and shadow of the prophet Isa or Jesus, we have the prophet Joshua. Joshua was deceived. He was deceived. And also, there was some issues going on in his camp in which God Almighty, the God of the Bible is a man, al Matty told Joshua, I will not be with you no more until you destroy the accursed from among you. Joshua had no idea something was wrong in his camp. And so he was on the ground crying. And the God of the Bible, al Matty, told him to get up off your face crying. You got sin going on in your camp, okay? So let's do a recap on everything. The God of the Bible and the God of the Quran is two different gods. The God of the Quran, his name is Allah. He is Lord of the worlds. The God of the Bible has been made a man. 
and he is only in charge of this planet, this planet Earth, okay? That's the huge shocker. That is the huge shocker. Now, scholars have no idea of Almaty. They don't know that Almaty is really the father of all the prophets. He is literally the father of creation because Allah used Almaty to help create every person on this planet, okay? This is the same thing we seen in Adam. God used Adam to name all the creatures. Inside of Adam, you got Maddie. It's the same thing with Al Maddie. Al Maddie is the father of all those that are in the Bible. Al Maddie was the one who assisted in creating this planet. Now, when you think about Allah, and you think about the God of the Bible, you got to think about it like this. Here you have Abraham. And here you have his nephew, Lot. Abraham's brother died. Okay? And that's a picture of the prophet Isa. And so Abraham took Lot. And Abraham is a picture of Allah, the Lord of the worlds. And Lot is a picture of the God of the Bible. He was only given the planet, this planet. He was a righteous man. He was only given this planet. And what happened was Lot got into some mess. And so Abraham had to save Lot. And it's the same thing. al Maddie got into some mess. And so Allah had to save al Mahdi. okay? The bond that I have with Allah is a bond you will never have because Allah is only my God. He's only my God. Allah is not your God. He's only my God. Allah is, I'm going to say it again, Allah is my God, not yours. He's only my God. Now, think about this with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They would say the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Before the world began, Islam was my, my religion. Islam is Lamantis. I am Lamanti. Okay? The Quran has my name on the cover. It has Quan in it. I am the rich homie Quan. Okay. The R is going into the real Rasulullah. And so the religion of Islam was put here to save me. And the Prophet Muhammad was a servant, he was not an heir, he was only a servant. Now think about Abraham. Abraham had many servants, he had about 300 servants. And when his nephew Lot was kidnapped, he used his servants to save Lot. Lot was the heir because him and Lot divided the lands. We both was great. Allah was great. I was great. Allah was like Abraham. He said, I'll take this side. You take this side. And where Lot pitched this tent, it was a whole lot of wickedness going on. And so Lot got into some issues, okay? And Allah, or metaphorically Abraham, had to save Lot. And the religion of Islam was my religion. It was how I worshipped Allah. Before the world ever began, this is how I worshipped Allah, okay? And this religion was sent back to this earth to save me because of what had happened in Israel and what has happened in Christianity, okay? So when you really look at the big picture, 
Allah is my God. And al Mahdi is the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible is a man. And the prophet Isa, he's seen that. That's why he said, Father, 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 Father. He kept praying to his father. Because al Mahdi is like a high priest. al Mahdi can receive prayer. al Mahdi can forgive sins. al Mahdi is in charge of everybody that's on this planet. Now, Allah revealed to me that I have no sin whatsoever. This is the voice that was in the prophet Isa. When the prophet Isa said, who can accuse me of sin? The real lamb is without spot and without blemish. This can't be the prophet Isa. The prophet Isa was questioned. Did you ever say to the people, worship you and your mother as God? No, this is not the prophet Isa. The man who was in heaven this whole time is a man without sin that simply came down here to help Allah and Allah helping him save it. This man didn't do anything wrong. Allah let it be known to me that everybody on this planet is my servant. OK, I don't owe nobody no apology. OK, that's why I'm without sin. This is my planet. This is my rules. The God of the Bible gave Moses the law. The God of the Bible is the one who writes the laws. And it's already prophesied that that father would return back to his earth. So when you really look at the big picture. You can see why people say Jesus is God. Why do people say Jesus is God? Because al Maddie had to come back down here and take that title. When you say Jesus is God, all you're doing is saying al Maddie is God. Okay? And that's true to a degree. Okay? We are all gods. In my religion, I say no deity is worthy of worship. But who? But Allah. Allah is the only one worthy of worship. Okay? So the God of the Bible is a man. He's a man. And whenever you say Jesus is God, you're saying Jesus is this, Jesus is that. That is al Mahdi taking that title back from the prophet Isa. That's exactly what's going on. If you had understanding, you can see that in the book of Nephi. Okay, right when the book of Nephi starts off in the Book of Mormon, Laban was the big man in charge. And what happened was Nephi killed him and took his clothes, took his mantle. So now everybody was thinking that Nephi was Laban. But Nephi was Nephi. He simply took that title back. And that's the same thing. So it don't matter when you say Jesus is God. You saying all that. You saying that. You saying all that. All you basically doing is recognizing al Mahdi as the father. Okay. And in the religion of Islam, we acknowledge that there's no God that's worthy of worship. But Allah. OK, Al Mahdi is the father. Al Mahdi has put it, been put in charge of this whole earth. Al Mahdi is the spokesman of Allah. Me and Allah is like these two fingers. OK. I've been worshiping him with no partners before there ever was a partner. And he is my God. Allah revealed that he is, he is my God, okay? And I introduce real religion to this planet. That's why al Mahdi is the father. That's why al Mahdi is the chief prophet. That is why al Mahdi, his days was lengthened. For him to clean up this earth. I was just sitting around here like lot. Okay. Blind. Sleep. Till Allah woke me up. And gave me the revelation. Okay. He's been like Abraham. 
taking care of the world. And he put me in charge of this one planet. And now he's coming back to redeem Jacob. Jacob metaphorically is Al Mahdi, the man who is going to raise up the tribes of Israel again from his loins. It's all about Lot on this planet. This is Lot's planet. Okay, I am the pilot of this planet. This is my earth. I am the ear. I am the clay. My last name is Clay. This earth is mine. And I didn't even know it this whole time. Okay. Allah is Lord of the worlds. And he put me in charge of this planet. And the religion of Islam is my religion. And I was and am the ultimate Mohammed. I am the ultimate Moses. I am the ultimate high priest. I am the real Mohammed Dan. The one who's doing the Adan, okay? I'm a picture of the real tribe of Dan, the judge, the judge of this planet. Do you realize that Al Mahdi will judge this whole planet? Everybody that's on this planet, I will judge them. According to the Hadiths, Allah will bring forth the black stone. That's a picture of me, Lamonti. This stone will have two eyes and a tongue. And it will testify to all of you who have touched me in sincerity. This is the reason why Jesus was allowed to forgive sins. He was forgiving sins through al -Mahdi. He was doing all these things through his father. Okay. Now it makes sense. Jesus was just like a Kaaba stone. Okay. He was taking all the sin and sickness in his day. But something happened, okay, where we all have to go into the judgment, specifically the prophet Isa, peace be upon him, okay? Allah, let it be known, and I spoke it right there in your Quran, that there are some things that we differed about, speaking of the prophet Isa, okay? So what you have to realize is that Allah is Lord of the worlds, and the God of the Bible, y'all, is a man. He's a man. You need to watch the book of Eli, Denzel Washington. What did he do before he died? He rewrote the whole Bible. The lawgiver of Genesis chapter 49, the man who's raising up the tribes of Israel in Isaiah 49 is one man. It is al Mahdi. Inside of al Mahdi, you got dad, okay? He is the father. Inside of Kaaba, you got Abba. Abba means father. There was one man, y'all, who was lord over the whole planet, who was king of kings and lord of all lords, of this planet, of this planet, just earth. This man stripped himself of his deity and became a human being and learned obedience through the things he suffered. And at the right time, Allah woke me up so that I might get my inheritance, okay? I'm judging everybody on this planet. Now, this might sound crazy to you. I know you do because you're not enlightened. You don't have no understanding. You don't understand why there's many people claiming to be God, many people claiming to be Jesus. Why? Because there's someone down here who is greater than Jesus. Now, think about this. In the law, it tells you to honor your father and your mother. Right now, the father of the prophet Isa is down here, and he ain't getting no respect from the outside world. But everybody is going super, super crazy over the prophet Isa. You see, the religion of Christianity has been a test to us. It has literally taught us to honor a son above the father. And 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so wise and how he set it up for the father of the prophet Isa to come back to this earth before the prophet Isa's return. Now look how everybody looks. The stone that the builders rejected is right here. The stone the builders rejected is right here. Jesus is like the stone everybody accepted. Christianity is the number one religion. Jesus is the stone that everybody accepted. Why? Because we've been taught to put a son above a father. And the real father, okay, of the prophet Isa is here right now talking to you. And the man is being ignored. The man is being treated like a homer. Okay, okay, the judgment, woo, woo, the judgment is coming. I have nothing to worry about, nothing, 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 no sin. How could you have sin when you are the law maker? Okay, the God of the Bible is the man who wrote the Bible. He wrote the Torah. He is the one that's coming back to change everything okay right now is my celebration right now is supposed to be my party okay Allah let it be known to me that I didn't even have to study a single thing when it was time for me to wake up he was going to wake me up if he had to teach me everything in one night he would have okay I am simply a lot I'm a lot down here I'm nothing but a lot and I have a uncle. I have an uncle Abraham. And Abraham is a picture of my Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everything is set up for me. Everything is set up for me. I was laying down in the bed. Just thanking God because he's showing me what he's about to do. Before it even happens. And I'm a little impatient sometimes. You know what Allah told me as I'm laying down sleeping? I'm playing the audio word of God laying down sleeping. And I'm having some type of conversation. I can't remember all of it. But I remember Allah saying, just praise me, D. Oh, man, it tore me up. It literally tore me up. I've been trying to play praise music ever since he said that. He said, just praise me, D. And he spoke to me the way everybody talks to me at work. They just call me D. He said, just praise me, D. Just praise me, okay? Islam is my religion, okay? It's how I worship God in the beginning. This religion did not start with the Arabian Mohammed. He was a servant to help save me, okay? Because when I came into knowing anything about God, I started off in the Christian church. Then I went into the Israelite camps, and now I'm right here at home. In Islam, when it was my religion from the very beginning, you see, according to Matthew chapter 21 and 40, on down. The whole entire chapter of Matthew chapter 21 is speaking about some heirs. It speaks about two sons. Two men that is supposed to inherit something from their father. Okay. One of the sons was a goody two-shoe. The other son was in the pig's pen. Okay, and the father said, hey, kill the fatted calf. Put a robe on his shoulder. Give him a ring. Your brother was once lost, but now he can see. Now he's found, okay? I was the lot. I was sleeping. I was like Kid Ink in the movie, in the video, rather, show me. I was asleep, man. They tapping me 
trying to wake me up, okay? This is my earth. This is my party right now before I have to die, okay? Because Al Matty has to die in nine years. That would be 2034, okay? God said that he was a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the father unto what? The third and fourth generation of them that hate me. That is going into 2034, okay? There's some serious things that's about to take place. And what's so crazy is the father of the prophet Isa, the father of the prophet Muhammad, the father of every prophet that ever prophesied is here on the planet. And this man is being rejected, 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 rejected every day. Rejected, rejected, rejected. Wow. Okay. This is why Christianity, man, is such a wicked religion. It teaches us to honor a son above his father. Now, Allah has no sons. Allah has no sons. See, that's how you know he ain't in the Bible. He's not the God of the Bible. Allah has no sons. He's the Lord of the world. But you see, the God of the Bible, he has a son. Okay, he had a son named Israel. Okay, he was a husband to Israel. The God of the Bible is a man. He's a man of war. He has a son. Okay, and one of his sons, the one you all worship, although he never told you to in scripture, is the prophet Isa. Now, Allah has no sons. OK, it is a monstrosity to even say such a thing. OK. He is Lord of the worlds. He's not the God of the Bible at all. No, no. We hear about Allah in the Quran. OK, he's Lord of the worlds. But you see, the God of the Bible is different. The God of the Bible is a man. Okay. And what happened was people literally, literally associated the almighty God. Okay. When I say almighty, I'm not talking about almighty, almighty, get it? Almighty, almighty. No, I'm not talking about the God of the Bible. I'm talking about Allah. Somehow people started saying that Allah had a son. And that's when trouble broke out. Okay, chaos. Okay. Hey, we finna take care of that lie right now. That's why I'm here. We taking care of that lie. Because Allah is my God. He's my God. Okay. Now go to your Bible. And for y'all who think I'm going crazy by um me saying. He's the God of mine and nobody else. Now go to Joel 2.27. I dare you to pick up your Bible and go to Joel 2.27. It literally says, I am the God of Israel and none else. Now Israel is the name of Jacob. Jacob was the smooth man. Jacob is a picture of al -Mahdi. Isaac is a picture of Esau. Esau does not start off the tribes of Israel. He has no children. No, no, no. He don't even have no kids. Jacob starts off the tribes of Israel. al -Mahdi raises up the tribes of Israel. He has kids. Okay, God is going to use al -Mahdi, the Jacob. To raise up the tribes of Israel. So when you go to Joel 2.27. When it literally says. I am the God of Israel and none else. That is literally. Me saying. Allah is my God. And he's nobody else's God. Now. I have been nice. And I welcomed all races. Into my religion called Islam. But right now. We have the Arabians. Trying to keep me out of my own religion. 
Okay. The owner of that vineyard in Islam is a black man. He's a picture of the real Bilal. He is the black man. I am your prophet's father. Okay. And you're trying to keep me out of my own religion. That black rock you kiss is a picture of me. It's a picture of me. Your Bible, if you if you accept the Bible, some of y'all Muslims don't. The Bible says, kiss the son lest he be angry with you. This is a sultan. This is not the prophet Isa. This is the last Solomon. This is the father's son. This is the only begotten son. This is the real prophet of the Bible. Al-Mahdi. He's the God of Israel and none else. Let that sink in. He is the God of Israel. That's Jacob. He's the God of Al-Mahdi and none else. Okay. He stopped the clock to save me. Your hadith tells you that the world will not pass away until Allah raises up in it a man who's going to fill this earth with equity, just like it was filled with violence and tyranny. How could that man do that if he's not the God of the Bible? This man is the God of the Bible. This man is the father of all the prophets. Okay? This is El Mahdi. And the religion of Islam is my religion. It's been my religion. So I just wanted to speak. I don't even know what to uh, entitle this message. But I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay? The God of the Bible and the God of, of the Quran is two different gods. They're two different gods. I declare that there's no God but Allah. And I am his messenger. al Mani is his messenger. I've been his messenger. Before there ever was messengers, Allah let me know I was his messenger. I've shared my religion. The best religion is Islam. The best religion is Islam. It was the religion of Islam that saved me from this mess going on in Israel and Christianity. Islam saved me. And the prophet Muhammad was a servant. He was not an heir. He was like Abraham's servant, Eliezer. He was like Abraham's servants that helped save Lot. Okay, that's all their purpose was to help Say, Lot, I am the Lot, I am the Lukeman, I am the lucky man, I am the luckiest man alive. Okay? I am. If anybody has a right to praise God, it is me. Okay? I am who I say I am, and I give God all of the praise. I praise my God, Allah. I love him. And I associate no partner with him. Okay. Get this word out. That al Maddie is here. You can tell by the knowledge. Now I already let y'all know. A big secret. That there's only one messenger. And there's only one God. Allah is Lord of the worlds. al Maddie is Lord of the earth. This is why. al Maddie will judge the earth. He's going to, I'm going to judge all of you, all of you. This is my planet. I don't have to apologize to nobody. I'm not revealed that I don't, I don't have to. I don't have to apologize to nobody for nothing. Everybody on this earth is my servant, but that's not how I carry myself. That's just the real truth about the whole thing. Okay. Just think about it. You own Burger King. You're not just the manager. You own Burger King. 
You don't have to apologize to nobody in there. No, you don't. You own it. And it's on a larger scale because with Burger King, the government is involved. And there's certain things you can't do to people because the government. But looky here, when you have a man who literally owns the earth, there ain't nothing you can say to him. Okay? He's letting you live. He's letting you live. Okay? Get this truth out here. That Al Matty is here. Yes, I got the comments turned off because a lot of y'all, man, y'all don't even think before you speak. Y'all say some of the most craziest things. That's going to get you in trouble. Okay? There's truth in every book. The Book of Mormon has the truth. If you really look at the Book of Mormon, all the Book of Mormon, Mormon is doing is giving you the records of civilizations, okay? And it's basically letting you know the real deal truth, that Jesus and the Father are two distinct different people, okay? If you can't learn that from the Book of Mormon, you lost, okay? They acknowledge that the father and the prophet Isa is two different things. And all the glory y'all putting on Jesus is going to is going to Al Mahdi because Al Mahdi is here to take his name. OK, when you say Jesus, you say an Al Mahdi. Jesus said, I am my father is what? One. OK, so God had to reveal that to me because I was tripping about a lot of my Christian music that I've been made. I made a whole bunch of Christian music and I got Jesus and Jesus and Jesus in there and no issues. No issues. I ain't doing nothing but speaking the truth. I ain't doing nothing but speaking the truth. OK, because the father prophet is taking that title. I'm taking that title. OK, whenever you say Jesus, Jesus, all you're doing is saying the father, the father. I am a father is one. And there's some things that happen with the prophet Isa that has to go into judgment. This is why he said. When he was asked to pray, he said, you have leaders um, that are more worthy to pray. You have sufficient leaders to pray. OK. Because there's some things, and like I said, we don't like to go into the prophet's junk mail. We all have a junk mail, okay? Except me, I'm 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 exempt, okay? I have no one I'm accountable to but Allah. Allah, the Lord of the worlds, okay? That's who I express myself to, okay? But to anybody on this earth, they're servants. Their servants, okay? The prophet Isa is not greater than the father. And Allah is not the father. al is the father. Jesus said that his father was greater than him. And yet you people have been honoring a so-called son. Y'all been honoring my son. Peace be upon him. Above his own daddy. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.